Hello again and welcome back to our course on PowerPoint 2019. In this section, we're going to take a look at creating a new presentation. Now, this might be the first time that you're ever creating a new presentation. It might be that you've edited presentations before. So if someone sent you a presentation, maybe you've been able to go in and make the required edits, but perhaps you've never created one from scratch. And that's what we're going to cover in this module. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can create a new presentation, and you can see here on the screen, I already have a blank presentation open. Now, what I can do from this point is I can go one of two ways. I can either apply a design to this blank presentation, make it look a little bit more interesting than it currently does. Or if I was creating from scratch, I could go to the file tab, which will take me into that backstage area and select the new option. And what you'll see there is a whole bunch of templates that you can select from. And these templates are actually organized into different categories. And you can see some suggested searches at the top here. So if I was looking for a template that was business related, I could click on business and it's going to search the database and show me a whole load of presentations that are suitable for business use. And you can see there, there's some really, really nice ones in PowerPoint 2019. They seem to get better with every new release of PowerPoint. So it really depends what you're looking for. Now, one thing I would say when you're trying to decide on a template to use is to really give a long, hard think to those rules, those tips and guidelines that we discussed in the previous module. And your template that you choose really should be suitable for your audience. So again, if it's a business presentation, you don't want to choose a template that's going to be too jokey or too casual or maybe has font which isn't appropriate. So just bear those tips in mind when you're trying to decide which template to use. Now, at this stage, I'm not going to choose one of these templates. I'm just going to click the arrow at the top to go back to my blank presentation. What I'm going to do instead is apply a design to this blank presentation that I have here. So I'm going to go to the design ribbon. And again, you can see I have a whole bunch of themes that I can choose from. And if I click the drop down arrow, this will show me all of the themes that I have access to. And as you hover over them, you'll see you get a live preview in the slideshow itself. So you get a really good idea as to what that's going to look like. Now I'm just going to apply this one here, which is called iron. And what you'll notice is that now I have this theme applied. What I can do is if I decide that maybe I don't like the background color particularly, what you'll see is that when you apply a theme, you then get this additional group called variants. And again, if I click the drop down, um, I can see for this one, there's only actually four variants, which we have listed there. I could change it to a blue theme instead. So it's essentially the same theme. I'm just changing that background color scheme to something a little bit different. And of course, as with everything, you can go in and customize even further if you wanted to. So again, if you didn't particularly like these colors, you could go in and define the colors that you want to use. But in this case, I'm fairly happy with using the blue one. Now, one thing that's worth remembering is that if you've already put several slides in the presentation and you've maybe changed the fonts, anything you have manually changed, applying a design theme may override that. So what I would suggest is that it is really best to pick your theme up front before you start making changes to any slides that you have. So that's a quick tip to bear in mind when you're thinking about applying themes to your presentation. So that's pretty much it. We have our two ways. We can either start with a new blank presentation. So let me go to file and go to new. And the blank presentation is literally what we started out with. So you can either start from this point and apply a design and then choose a variance. Or you can start with a template if you wanted to, a template of your choice by selecting it from the list. So now we know how to create a new presentation. What we're going to talk about in the next section is how we work with slides. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this PowerPoint 2019 playlist.